the AWS product and services in the rate at which they're continuing to evolve offer us many opportunities to do the same with our own products and services. Trimble is a global leader in telematics solutions. Our primary source of data are, are generated from global positioning devices. The data they transmit is position, velocity, and time, essentially, you know, where am I at any given time, how fast am I moving, and what time of day is it. So that's the, the typical data inflow, and then it's presented in any number of ways, depending on the use case. We had a significant investment in hardware infrastructure, co-located, and it was end of life. Do we buy more horsepower and refresh this hardware, or do we find some other solution that may be more cost-effective, which is what led us down the path to AWS. We had databases located in North America and in Europe. We opted to migrate the North American database first. That database was about six and a half terabytes, um, growing at a rate of about 33 gigabytes a day. We used the data migration service and the schema conversion tool, more specifically, to analyze the scope of effort that would be required to migrate from our existing platform to an open source platform. And the output from that analysis was what allowed us to understand where our functional gaps were and what the effort to address them would be. Without the schema conversion tool, I would have had to rely on my resources to try and figure out what these functional gaps are between our current database and our target database, the time required to do that would have you know, taken much longer than the tool. Using the tool, we literally had results the same day. We ran the schema conversion tool against our Oracle database and compared it against a number of different platforms, and it turned out that Postgres offered the path of least resistance. In terms of the actual data migration, our in-house teams focused on our front-end solutions and reporting solutions, and our third-party vendor did the data migration. In terms of operational overhead, we have already seen opportunities to reallocate resources who used to maintain hardware infrastructure. Now we're able to task them with more value-added activities. In terms of database administration, RDS has allowed us to forget about things like backups and capacity management and patch management. We're right in the middle of migrating our, our development environments from privately hosted infrastructure into AWS. We're also starting to expand the use of AWS services with things like CloudFormation and Code Pipeline. The success of this project can only be attributed to you know, the team that we had assembled to work on it. Uh, you know, from their open-mindedness to work with a third party, to drive into the unknown of a new platform, uh, and do this within the time frames that were expected of them. Uh, I can't say enough about it. We're about 80% complete on our migration to AWS and our projections are that we will pay about one quarter of what we're paying in our private infrastructure.